how many quarterbacks have a first round grade this draft? I got one, um, and that's CJ Stroud. And he is unique from this perspective. Let, let, let's talk about this. These are the two things that have to be woven together. If you do not have these two things, your ability to win consistently in the National Football League is going to be very hard. You got to process decision making. Okay. The processing and decision making aspect and accuracy has to be uh, that combination. Like if you don't have that, you've got a big problem. One of those teams is going to run one of those two things. If you don't have it, runs you out of our league. Okay. He does have it. Um, Bryce Young has that as well. But then is when you got to go a little deeper into those two things. The luxury Ohio State has and Alabama has half the time they're just better than everybody else. Yeah. You know, and so what's hard to do, but you have to do it and you have to find enough evidence to see how they function in it, is how will they play in the environment in the NFL that the NFL is going to create? And majority of all throws in the NFL are from a dirty collapsed pocket. There's traffic. Uh, they don't have the luxury of being better than everybody else half the season. Okay, so how do they function within that? When you look at that category, now the decision-making and accuracy aspect and arm strength come into play. C.J. Stroud is strong. He is dynamic. I mean, his ability to throw accurate-wise, will attack. he can attack every inch of the field, every inch of the field. You take Bryce Young into that pocket-collapsing environment, he doesn't have a big enough arm, so he's limited in where he's going to be able to throw. And he's not the same quarterback. He can't make those throws. And that's going to be a, a big consistency in the National Football League where he's going to have to play. He doesn't play like C.J. Stroud does. I still love him. I still think he does a great job. I think he could be a good quarterback. He's just not – I wouldn't put a first-round pick on him because that expectation is you're going to be elite. You're going to take us to a championship. And you have to have this as part of your evaluation. He is fragile. He is not very big, and he has already displayed that. In the two years at Alabama, the last two years, the year where they were dominant and he won the Heisman Trophy, they were a dominant team, he was awesome. Now, when they weren't quite the team that they were the previous year, people got to hit him, people got around him more, and he didn't play the entire season. He got hurt because you hit him. Now, when they hit him, and when I say when they hit him, here's what happens in the NFL. Sometimes you're like, well, I can, we can get our corner there, but I don't know if we can get a quarterback down. Okay, in this case, your kicker, gets there, they may wipe him off the map. I mean, they may charge people for murder when they hit him. When he got hit just in college, I gave him a 10 for toughness because there's so many times I'm like, man, he ain't getting up from that. Yeah. And that has to be an ultimate. You have to take that. You have to have that discussion because in our league, he's going to get hit. Um, he is not physically, uh, he's very fragile. Um, and you have to be okay with him not playing um, a few games every year. You have to be, you have to to accept that that could happen. And then with his limited ability to throw from a dirty pocket in an NFL environment, CJ Stroud doesn't have those things. Um, and I wouldn't put that on my coach. If I have the choice, I'm going to take the guy that doesn't put those limitations on me. And CJ Stroud does not do that. I think he is unique. Um, he is powerful. He is strong. He is dynamic. He is accurate. And he will threaten every inch of the field. And he is truly special from that perspective.